Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be giving you an introduction of what a hashtag is. I'm pretty sure most of you might be knowing what a hashtag is, but I would still recommend you to watch this video. Who knows, maybe this video might give you a new information on something that you didn't know about hashtags. Great, so let's begin this video by asking ourselves, what is a hashtag? So for the people who doesn't know what a hashtag is, a hashtag is a word or a phrase that is written after the hash symbol. So basically, it's anything that you write after putting a hash symbol in front of it. Now on the screen, I've used the hash symbol which is followed by the word anything. So this itself is an example of a hashtag. Now the next question that arises in your mind would be, why should I use a hashtag on Instagram? Well, the main reason why I recommend people using hashtag is because hashtags can be used in any social media platform, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. But using hashtags on Instagram has a particular extra advantage because Instagram allows people to follow hashtags. As you can see on the screen, I've searched for the hashtag hashtag on Instagram and there is the follow button. So this means that a lot of people might be following different hashtags depending on their interest on Instagram. So if you are someone who wants to grow your Instagram page, then this is a great chance to exploit this feature of Instagram to gain more reach by using hashtags. So I hope that is a great reason to start using hashtags on Instagram. Now before going further into finding the right hashtags and other stuffs related to hashtags, we'll take a look at what qualifies as a hashtag and what doesn't qualify to be a hashtag. In layman's term, we'll take a look at how to write a hashtag. So as you can see on the screen, there are right ways to write a hashtag, which is denoted using a tick symbol. And there are wrong ways to write a hashtag, which is denoted using an X symbol or a cross symbol. Now let me use the phrase happy life to make my point clear to you. Now under the tick mark, I've written happy life just like that without any space. So that is a right way to write a hashtag. Now just below that, we have happy, then we have an underscore and then I've written life. So this also qualifies as a hashtag for the phrase happy life. Now let's take a look at the wrong ways. Now as you can see, under the X or the cross symbol, writing happy and then a space and then life is a wrong way because the hashtag only applies to the word happy and not life. I've denoted this using the maroon color. So it would just be hashtag happy and not hashtag happy life. Now the next wrong way is happy dot life. In this case too, the hashtag only works for the word happy and not for the word life. So the moral of the story is not to use spaces and dots in your hashtag. I hope that wasn't hard to understand, right? Great. So let's move on to the next question of this video. And that question is how many hashtags should I use? And as shown on the screen, Instagram allows minimum of zero hashtags to a maximum of 30 hashtags for a post and for Instagram reels. So for Instagram stories, the number is a bit different. We'll be talking more about Instagram stories in the story section, so don't worry about it. We'll also be talking about reels in the reels section. Now the real problem about Instagram is that they don't reveal anything. But for the first time in the history of Instagram, Instagram has said something via the official creator account of Instagram. So what they have done is that they have posted something through the official creators account of Instagram and as you can see on the screen, they have put hashtag do's and hashtag don'ts. And the main thing that I want you to focus on has been put in a red box so you can see in the hashtag do's, Instagram has told do keep the number of hashtags between 3 to 5. And in the hashtag don'ts, they have told don't use too many hashtags, adding 10 to 20 hashtags will not help you get additional distribution. So that is what Instagram tells you on how to use hashtags or on the number of hashtags that you should use per post. So going back to the question, how many hashtags should I use on my post or Instagram reels? And my answer will always be the same and that is experiment and find it out. This is because hashtags work differently for different accounts. For some accounts, maybe using 30 hashtags would be the best choice and for other accounts, it might be using 3 to 5 hashtags just the way Instagram has told. So the best way to find out the number of hashtags that works for you is to experiment and find it out. So in the coming videos, we'll be taking a look at the different ways to find the right set of hashtags that suits you. Now personally, in my case, when I started out with Instagram 
and when I had around 500 followers, my hashtag reach was just 4 and for other posts it was 38 and some posts even got around 300 reach from hashtag. But later when my Instagram account grew to around 10,000 followers, the story was completely different. As you can see, I've shown the insights of a single post and that post was having around 104,718 accounts reached and specifically when you zoom into the hashtag reach, you can see that around 27,000 people saw my post from hashtags. So now you might be thinking what point am I trying to make? And the point that I want you to note is that when you have a small number of followers, the reach from hashtags might not explode like anything. But as your followers increase gradually, the reach from hashtags would also increase. Therefore, in order to achieve that, all you have to do is to be consistent and conduct experiments and find out the best set of hashtags that works for you. I hope that this was a good kickstart for this hashtag journey. Let's take a short break and we'll continue in the next videos. I will see you there.